Hi, thanks for tuning in to another episode of The Spiritual Scientist. I'm Victor. Thanks for checking me out. So I'm driving to work again this morning. Yeah, I'm wearing a suit, tie. Um, so I thought I'd talk to you guys about um, enlightenment a little bit. And uh, it's always an interesting topic. And just to tell you what, um, what it's like so you can kind of understand a little bit about... Um, where you need to go to with your meditation practice and everything else. So, for instance, when you meditate, what happens is you're learning to build you're learning to build up your willpower so you actually can focus in on one thing. Now, what happens is when you focus in on one thing, you actually work on your focusing ability. Your some people call that like concentration is your third eye. You learn to open up your third eye. So you actually can concentrate on one thing. So I I talked about before about Hamsa breathing meditation. But you could do other things versus breathing to concentrate. You could say a mantra, things of that nature. So once you concentrate on doing one thing, you see over and over and a lot of people get upset because they say I can't concentrate for longer than you know 10 minutes well you don't expect you know you don't expect to run a marathon uh, when you just start learning how to uh, you know jog so you have to start off and, and do small increments but you basically you you try to focus in on doing one thing so a meditation can be in mindfulness can be washing the dishes and you just concentrate on washing the dishes it can be uh, you know listening to music you just concentrate on listening to that music it can be whatever it is but you're just doing one thing at one time with fully with all of your being so when you concentrate and you do one thing con totally with all of your being you actually concentrate your willpower and when you concentrate your willpower and notice I'm saying that word concentrate a lot so you're using your mindfulness as a centering of presence so when you open up your presence to the awareness of things then you actually can go ahead and say to yourself okay I'm looking at things so you're you see things in the present moment so most people and I know this sounds strange are dwelling on their past or dwelling in their future all the time since we're um, you know genetically created to always look at the future or the past because we were actually in survival mode for most of our uh, you know genetically for existence and as farmers you were trained to actually look and worry about you know harvesting when's the next harvest if you're hunting you're going out to hunt and look and follow the trail so you're always concentrating on the future and the past the present moment really doesn't help much in their survival mode uh, it's always interesting you know that's how animals are always thinking about you know a lot of times they're thinking about in the future or you know they're thinking well I'm about to get I'm about to eat and where should I move I should move over here I should move over there so if you th for instance concentrate on birds and look at what birds are doing they're always like oh who's doing this what's doing that what's doing this so they're reacting but they're not really that present right so when you're more present in your moment is when you can affect things now is the only time you can affect things so you can't affect things in the uh, past and you really can't affect things in the future you could only affect things in the present moment so once you realize that you can only affect things in the present moment is when you have the ability to actually you know change things and change your life so a lot of people are you know basically it's like you're asleep so you're basically looking around saying oh I wish I could do this or I wish I could do that or oh my gosh I wish 
you know, but nobody's really changing things because they are wishing, you know, the wishing, the wanting things to change is the difference from actually changing them, you see, so, um, you know, a lot of things people are talking about in manifestation is actually thinking about it and wishing about it versus wanting it to be in your life and imagining it's in your life now. Well, the difference between imagining in your life now and making it happen is another step. So what I'm saying is, if you want to change your life, you know, change it. You know, you actually have to do it. Like, there's somebody, you know, that says, gee, I want to leave my husband. He's horrible. He's always abusive to me. You know, well, then you leave, you know, and then that's it. And then you say, well, it's it's not that easy because, you know, because you're focusing in on the future and you're focusing in on the past. You just make the change now and then your reality adjusts around that moment. So I deal with sometimes high net individuals in a, you know, different, my daily job. And, you know, I could tell a lot of them are handed their easy life. And they are just, you know, they're, believe it or not, you could be making two hundred, three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars $400,000 a year, $500,000 a year, and be totally asleep. You're asleep and you don't know, you know, because you haven't had those challenges. You haven't had you're not meditating, everything just kind of came easy to you, and then you're kind of like, oh, I got, you know, I have this and I have that, and, you know, that's, sometimes I'm grateful that, you know, I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth, because I could say, gee, I know, you know, what the value of certain things is, and you have to kind of, you know, work on yourself, it's the inner work on yourself before you want to affect the change in the world so you can't just sit there and say ah you know manifest I want this to change I want that to change you know you have to change yourself so looking inward and you know doing meditation is definitely a great way to concentrate build up your you know awareness so you can actually see out of your eyes and listen with your ears most people are only using a fraction of their brain paying attention to their outside world. They're not paying attention to what's in the world. They're just con they're constantly going and thinking about their past because of trauma or the future because of trauma and wondering what's going to happen. So that's what we see all the time. Everybody's clinging to the media, to the news. What's going to happen? What's going to change? What's going to happen? You know, and that's the problem. That's what's going on. Anyway, I uh, thought I'd leave you a quick video. Like, subscribe, share. Thanks so much. Love you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, bye-bye.